Archaeologists in Egypt say they unearthed a tomb that has And we were surprised by the number of objects found inside. The shaft, it leads to Jupiter. Over the years, Saqqara has been the heart of archaeological discoveries in Egypt. Many of the things we now know about ancient Egyptian civilization are due to the cultural richness of this great town. From the hundreds of tombs that have been explored to the many magnificent statues that sit across its horizon, recent discoveries in Saqqara have added a new queen to Egyptian history. Today on Crunch, we'll be exploring the discovery of Queen Nert's tomb and the religious significance of this tomb thousands of years after her death. The Forgotten Queen Nert In January 2021, Queen Nert was mentioned for the first time in history after the discovery of a funerary temple in Saqqara, Egypt. Queen Nert was the wife of King Tadi, the first king of the Sixth Dynasty in the Old Kingdom of Egypt. Modern Egyptologists were aware of only two wives of King Tadi who were known as Iput I and Kuit II. The excavation of this long-hidden burial temple was carried out by a group of archaeologists headed by Zahi Hoas, a top Egyptologist and former Egyptian Minister of Antiquities, along with the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities and Bibliotheca Alexandrina. The site was first studied in 2010, and although the tomb had been discovered previously, its occupants were unknown until 2021. Queen Nert's tomb is a burial complex made up of a stone temple and three mud brick stores. These stores were built to store temple provisions, offerings, and tools used in the Queen's tomb. Hawass's team found Nert's name imprinted onto a wall in the temple and into a fallen obelisk near the entrance of the burial complex. This burial complex is next to the Pyramid of King Tati, and the elements inside it support the theory historians put forward many years ago that, thousands of years after his reign, King Tati was worshipped by Egyptians in the New Kingdom. These discoveries, which date back to the Old and New Kingdoms, are rewriting the history of ancient Egypt as we know it. Burial Temple Discoveries Upon the excavation of the burial complex, it was discovered that it wasn't just a temple and tomb for Queen Nert, it was also a burial place. This debased the preconception that Saqqara was only used as a burial site during the Old Kingdom, as some of the tombs in this temple date back to the New Kingdom era. Among the most significant findings at the site were the 52 wooden sarcophagi which date back to the New Kingdom period, between the 16th and the 11th century BC. They were found in 52 burial shafts that are about 40 feet deep and close to 50 of them were found in good condition. According to experts, the coffins found in the burial shafts hold the remains of followers of a cult where they worshipped King Tati. This cult was believed to have been formed after Tati's death, and experts think that the cult operated for over 1,000 years. The pious court members likely considered it an honor to be buried near the king they revered. The wooden sarcophagi were made in a shape similar to a human's and on the surface of some of them were painted pictures of some Egyptian gods. Inside some of the sarcophagi, there were inscriptions from the Book of the Dead, a book that contained spells and rituals that were believed to guide the deceased through their journey into the afterlife. These sarcophagi were purchased by mummification workshops or locals who were planning the burial of a relative, and this discovery confirms that the business of skilled woodworkers and smiths existed as far back as the Old Kingdom. Hawass said, we found inside the burial shafts pottery that gives evidence of trade relations between the New Kingdom of Ancient Egypt and Crete, Syria, and Palestine, as ancient Egyptians imported oils from them. Amidst the ongoing investigation of the funerary temple, Hawass told CBS News that his team of archaeologists keep discovering more tombs and shafts. He said, Inside the shaft we found a large limestone sarcophagus. This is the first time we've discovered a limestone sarcophagus inside the shafts. Some of these tombs have been identified and others haven't. Another interesting discovery made in this temple was a luxurious underground mud brick shrine dating back to the New Kingdom. The shrine was found 24 meters below ground level and the shaft leading up to it was the first one of this depth to be discovered. The open court of the shaft was covered with well-polished and shiny limestone slabs. As excavation efforts continue, Hawass believes that neither the shaft nor the shrine was raided, which makes sense considering its depth. 
Inside the shafts, the search team unearthed statues representing deities such as the god Osiris and Ptah Soker Osiris. In addition to this, large numbers of archaeological artifacts, including tools and pottery, jars, pots, stele, and miniatures of wooden boats with sailors on board. Most interesting is a 4-meter-long scroll representing Chapter 17 from the Book of the Dead. The scroll, as well as four Shabti statues and an anthropoid wooden coffin, bore inscriptions that led archaeologists to believe they belonged to a man, Kaf. Many beautiful Shabti statues made of wood, stone, and clay have been found dating back to the New Kingdom. Some of the tombs contained wooden funerary masks and board games that were possessions of the deceased. These games were supposed to be a source of amusement for them in the afterlife. One of the underground shrines Hawass's archaeological team discovered was a shrine dedicated to Anubis, the Egyptian god of the dead and guardian of tombs. Anubis was depicted with the head of a jackal, so statues were found in the shrine after this. There were also platforms on which visitors offered sacrifices, praying to Anubis to watch over their deceased family members. From the study of the burial sites, some of the worshippers of King Tati who were buried in the shrine were established in other spheres of life. For example, artifacts dating back to the New Kingdom era were found in one of the tombs. Some represented animals such as geese. In addition, there was a well-crafted bronze axe indicating that its owner was a leader in the army. In one of the shafts, there were limestone statues of a couple and their family suggesting that the tomb underneath was a family tomb. It was unclear the specific occupation of each family member, but archaeologists could decipher that one was a commander in the king's army and another was an antique collector. King Tati King Tati was the first ruler of the 6th dynasty and the successor of King Unas of the 5th dynasty. According to historians, Tati's ascension to the throne was for diplomatic purposes as he had no direct claim to the throne. Unas's reign abruptly came to an end without him having a male heir, and this caused political instability in the region. To solve this issue, one of Unas's daughters, Iput I, was given to Tati in marriage. In fact, he adopted the Horus name Sehetaptawe, meaning he who pacifies the two lands. The length of his reign is a topic that is often debated. According to an ancient Egyptian priest, Manetho, Tati ruled for 33 years. However, many Egyptologists doubt the authenticity of this report because there was no record of a jubilee celebration in the 6th dynasty. The most recent known date from Tati's reign is that of the 6th census. A census was an event that took place on average every two years. Therefore, on this basis, many Egyptologists believe Tati had a 12-year reign. Unlike his predecessor, Tati had an heir, Pepi I, and the daughter, Sesh Seset, also called Watet Keter. To further establish Tati's political stability, Sesh Seset was to be married to the vizier, Meruruka. This was a successful plan to win the favor of the increasingly powerful nobility of ancient Egypt, despite his lack of direct claim to the throne. Not much is known about Tati's reign, but we know he was a wise and strategic king. He retained some of the most powerful officials who were in power during Unas's reign, and the kingdom was prosperous and at peace. During the 6th dynasty, Egypt's international trade was impressive, and there were healthy diplomatic relations between Egypt and surrounding nations. Tati maintained commercial and diplomatic relations with Byblos, Pont, and Tamas in northern Nubia, between Egypt and present-day Sudan. There is an indication that quarry work was performed in Tati's name at Hatnub near Abydos. Tati granted more lands to Abydos inscribing his name in Hatnub. Archaeological evidence shows that he accepted the temple at Abydos from taxes. Abydos is an ancient city in Egypt that was the center of many spiritual and cultural activities. Today, Abydos is one of the locations in Egypt with the highest archaeological interests. It was discovered that Tati was the first ruler to be associated with the cult of Hathor, the goddess of love and music. A sistrum, a percussive musical instrument of ancient Egypt, was inscribed with part of Tati's royal title. This discovery shows the affinity of Tati with Hathor, and the lovely sistrum now sits in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Tati had many wives and escorts, however, the most recognized were Iput I and Kuit II. 
Aput I was buried in her own pyramid near Tades at Saqqara. Given she was the daughter of the previous king of Egypt, she had her own burial arrangements separate from her husband's. Other wives, including Kuit and Wered Imtes, were buried in the complex where Tades' pyramid was. During the early Middle Kingdom and the 19th dynasty, Tades' memory was honored as Tadi, beloved of Ta, and a shrine in his honor was built close to his 170-foot tall pyramid. This site was discovered about 10 years ago, but, but further excavation efforts have shown that this shrine was also the resting place of another wife of Tati, Queen Nert. The Undiscovered Potential of Saqqara Saqqara is certainly unmatched in its historical value, and according to Zahi Hawass, what has been discovered in Saqqara is only 30% of the pieces of Egyptian history that are buried underground. In his words, wherever you dig in Saqqara, you find antiquities. Most recently, in March 2022, five 4,000-year-old tombs belonging to senior officials from the Old Kingdom and First Intermediary period were discovered. Later that month, 250 sarcophagi and 150 statues that date back to more than 2,500 years ago were displayed at Saqqara. In addition to these, a 9-meter-long papyrus scroll that could represent a chapter of the Book of the Dead was also recently discovered. For sure, this won't be the last discovery to be made in Saqqara. According to Zahi Hawass, the younger citizens of Egypt should be carried along in this quest to find the hidden bits of their peculiar history. He pointed out that his team of archaeologists who discovered the tomb of Queen Nert included junior archaeologists from his Egyptology Center at Bibliotheca Alexandria. The discovery of these buried precious antiquities is one of Egypt's main sources of revenue, and so to ensure this lucrative venture doesn't lose its international significance, Egypt has started partnering with other countries to speed up the rate of new discoveries. One of the countries Egypt shares archaeological cooperation with is China. And in an interview, Zahi Hawass voiced his happiness with the work of the initial Egyptian-Chinese archaeological mission that began in late 2018 at the Montu Temple in the Karnak Temple Complex Luxor, which is another city with archaeological interest. Zahi Hawass told Xinhua in Cairo, We're looking forward to more archaeological cooperation with China. China is a great country with a great civilization. When the Egyptian and the Chinese civilizations meet together, I believe the outcome will be great and very unique. So, what do you think? Just how many discoveries in Saqqara are there that we haven't unearthed yet? And what will their revelations unveil about the ancient history of Egypt? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching Crunch History. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.